when did my hands get so covered with blisters and scars? Ah, that's quite a layer of calluses forming around your knuckles. Yeah, probably from all the people I've hit. Didn't you want to be a doctor? That's kind of ironic. Do you regret this? <sighs> no, these calluses are proof that I'm striving to do the things I need to do. That's the spirit. They prove you're no quitter. A man's hands always reflect the path he's walked in life. You have the hands of a true man. Your calluses are the coolest! I'm going to keep fighting until I have calluses too! <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. There. I'll try to be more careful. Hey guys, it's Deadly Crescent and welcome back to Tales of Exilia. So this is the area that I was talking about. So we're going to be doing um, the Tatalian Abyss for this episode along with that skit that is outside. Uh, to be quick, I updated equipment for everyone, well, except for Alvin and Mila, who did not get any new equipment, uh, weapon or actual equipment-wise. And I did do Lilium Orbs, however, I did not have enough, so I'm hoping that I will gain enough levels to get, you know, what I want to get. Um, I don't exactly know which part of the Lilium Orb has that special skill, so... I'm trying to get everybody to get different ones to find out which one has it. So hopefully I'll get it soon. And on either Mila or Jude, I would prefer, but I want everybody to get it eventually, you know. Let's just do a linked art here, why not? I'll check out, or I'll show you the equipment in a second. So see, th this has really good EXP. So I'm gonna be in here for a while, getting up to like in the 70s probably. Uh, that's what I did last time, so let me just quick check out equipment. So he has the rune gauntlets now, and also the demon helm, and the diamond guard, which I think is really cool. He has the water harpoon, which looks nice. I don't think I've ever actually gotten this one for Rowan, and also the demon helm. She has the brand dung, which looks really cute. I might keep it and not sell it the next time. And also the, uh, angel circlet. She didn't get anything. She has the flint pole, which looks kind of meh. And also an angel circle and diamond guard and Alvin didn't get anything, uh, unfortunately. But you know whatever. Um, Rowan was complaining about not fighting in a while, so I just decided to put him in the party, and then I gave him meatballs to eat because they were all complaining about how hungry they were. Which I mean, it's understandable. Even in video games, people get hungry. Oh Jesus, they are a lot of these guys. Holy crap. What are they weak to? Nothing. Okay. Well, apparently my ideal link partner is myself. Uh, I guess I just have to link to myself or something. I don't know. Let's see if we can get at least a few of these destroyed because it seems like Elise is having trouble. Uh, please don't use healing circle. Rowan is dead over there, Elise, so I would appreciate that. I also realized I forgot to buy items. Uh, so I'm probably going to... Keep believing in myself. Do that. Man, I love this area so much. And like the enemies aren't bad to fight. Okay, so I'll be right back. So this entire city is powered by Spyrex. Yep. This world turns by stealing energy from spirits. Olympias has been doing that since ancient times. That's why it's rich in spirit fossils and little else. How can everyone be so calm about killing spirits? With so many spirits gone, even nature is starting to disappear. Olympians don't know that spirits create nature, or even that they're alive to begin with. All they know is that their primary energy source is drying up. Yet they're not doing anything about it. We've progressed this far by relying on Spyrex. We can't remake our society overnight. Could you immediately stop using spirit arts if someone told you to? No, I don't think we could. Riza Maxia couldn't exist without humans and spirits working together to cast spirit arts. Symbiotic coexistence, eh? Must be nice. Maybe we Manilobless Olympians are simply destined for extinction. I do suspect that was the destiny Maxwell originally had in mind, but I have no intention of adhering to Destiny's plans. I envy your strength. 
If you have time for envy, you have time to act. With your actions, this situation can change. Change the entire world, huh? That's not really my style, but... Maybe just this once. All right, we're back. I wasn't expecting that scene to happen there, actually. I'm gonna avoid this guy so we can get a little bit further down here. Um, isn't anything special, it's just a little area, I guess, but... Oh, look at these monsters, they're so cute. Cool. Cool, I was about to... <laughs> That's weird, okay. Go me, I guess, right? We'll just deal with this for right now. I do like the enemies in here, they're all really neat. Especially these guys. I don't know, they remind me of dragons, but they're all like skeleton dragons that are covered in dirt or something. <laughs> Very weird description, but I think it fits. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know, you know. But there is a little side quest in here that I'm pretty sure I've mentioned in previous episodes that we will be doing. It's just a little bit farther down. Um, it was pretty cool, actually. I wasn't expecting to have like a side quest in an optional area like this. Uh, cause it's not, and it's actually in this area, it's not, you know, from somebody outside of it going, oh hey, I need you to go here, you know? I just completely forgot the name of this, I was thinking that it was some, one of those places where you, uh, climb in, or er, climb through a hole and get to another area, but I was wrong. I mean, my first playthrough, I completely skipped over this area, cause I was like, I have to go to the Dimensional Breach, which was that, um, other direction that we did not go yet. We will go there next episode, I promise, or the end of this episode, depending on how long it takes. But I will definitely be back here for some training, leveling up and all that. Let's just get a little further. I'll avoid the enemies for now until we get to the area that we need to be, like right here. <laughs> Ugh. What is it? What's wrong? I... I came to investigate reports of ground collapsing, but then poisonous gas started leaking out from the fissure. Get out of here, while you still can. Mila. Oh no, this is miasma. Miasma? It's a cursed substance that was sealed underground when this world took form. Prolonged exposure to it will kill anything. Humans, spirits, plants, animals. It seems to be well, welling up quickly. I doubt that merely covering the hole would suffice when it's under this much pressure. Well, hey! Run for your lives! Sylph. Whoa, a wall of wind. How do you intend to stop the miasma, Mila? If the four protect us while using their spirit arts, we should be able to survive within the miasma. Then we can go and seal the leak at its source. Go inside of that? Are you serious? I'm always serious. Now look, me. Come on, Alvin, your hometown is in danger. You got a point there, little lady. I love Tipo's Wahey. Well, it's actually kind of fun to say. So we have to stop the miasma. I'm just going to quickly uh, do that and that. Here's the fun part. We get to jump down from very far heights this whole time. Some sort of free fall world record, right? I think it is, to be fair. I feel like that's the long or the farthest down that we have um, jumped. Dude sure knows how to do that. I just realized that I haven't been playing as or haven't had my party leader be Elise. Why haven't I done that? I love playing as Elise. She is adorable. Oh well. We'll just keep staring at Jude the whole time, right? There's nothing wrong with Jude. Jude's adorable, too. Ah, uh, I hate when they block, you know? But they they get their status and Flixman's pretty easy, so that's nice. Come on. Come on, he's almost dead. There we go. I love this place so much. It's like level up after level up after level up. So you're at 64, we will make it to the higher 70s, and yeah, don't worry about it. Um, the final boss will still give me plenty of trouble, even in high 70s, so... Because it is the final boss. 
We get to jump down on those. It's great. As soon as the windstone shattered, a ring of light appeared on the ground. What's going on? It appears that there were two seals placed on this cave. They seem to have arranged so that when the wind seal is disabled, the earth seal is activated. An excellent conjecture, Rowan. The four are telling me you're right. These seals were placed here by the spirits of an older area in order to keep the miasma at bay. Originally, there were four seals, one for each, one in each for earth, water, wind, and fire. But the fire and water seals have broken, which allowed the miasma to seep out. Who'd be crazy enough to break those seals? No one. It was simply a matter of time. The seals were placed here eons ago. Probably long before Olympians and Re Olympias and Rizomaxia were separated. Seriously? But everything within the cave seems so new. Perhaps the combination of the four seals were able to effectively halt the flow, flow of time within the cave. Correct. That is the only way to stop the miasma. So in order to get them to the miasma source, we have to disable the wind and earth seals. The wind seal was merely hidden, but the earth seal could be a problem. Why? We don't have much time, so I suggest we use the power of gravity to destroy it. Yeah, we get to jump down. In other words, leap onto the seal to crush it? Sure, what could go wrong with that? Alvin! I know, I know. If I can't suggest a better plan, I should shut the hell up. Sounds like we've got climbing to do. Yes, we do. So, magically puts us up here already. We can just jump down and crush it. With our mighty force of Jude. And now we can advance forward. I like this area. It was really neat. I'm so glad that I finally found it. After all that time of playing. <laughs> Alright, so here is another... Like, they're not going to be placed in the same area, by the way. Uh, their seal will be moved around, and sometimes it will be pretty far away. So, we have to do elaborate things to get to it, which I found really cool. It's kind of like its own puzzle of a side area, of all things, you know? That sounds very ominous. Omni omni uh, okay, so... I don't exactly... We have to get to higher ground. I know that. Uh, up there, to be precise. But we can't climb up any... Oh, hello. The only problem is it kind of turns you around and I don't remember where exactly it came from. <laughs> so, that could be a little bit of an issue. And it's been a while since I've been here, but... I, I believe we'll find our way. It won't, it won't take too long. We're at 16 minutes right now, so um, I'm probably going to end this episode whenever we finish this. Uh, so, which means I don't know how long it'll take considering it's already 16 minutes and we've only breaking, or broken the first seal, but... You did very well there. Yeah. Well, oh, look at all the levels. Oh my god, I love this place. This is the best grinding spot in the whole game. Uh, I think... Okay, so I came from that way, so I'm going to check over here. Uh, I'm going to avoid battles, so you don't need to worry about that. Jet black feathers. Okay. Nothing over there for me. I'll do all these battles off screen, so... Yeah, this is it. Okay. We climb up here. See, so it's very um, nicely placed ladders for us from eons ago. I don't know why that one person decided to come out here all alone, you know? You're like, so slow, Leia. Climb faster. Well, I think Jude's the one who's climbing, not Leia. So technically, Jude's climbing slower. What was that? What did I just pick up? Air. Oh, hair of the sacred beast. Huh. Oh, I know what that is. Ah, I know what that is. Um, I think we're over it properly. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure that we were actually above it and didn't have to walk around in circles. <laughs> Alright, let's advance forward again. But yeah, that's a cheagle fur. I just realized because of the color and everything. Cheagles. I love cheagles. They're cute. I like how they always have reference to cheagles in other games from um, Abyss and everything. It's really neat. Uh, I don't think it's down here. Actually, it might be. 
I think this is where the um, the earth seal appears, but it's not where the wind seal is. So let's just ignore these guys for right now. Because you can see there's chests up there, so that definitely means... Here we go, yeah. Here we go. Let's activate the earth seal. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for letting me know that there is a gate nearby some light. And more omnibus. Omnibus. I want to say that word, but I just can't say it properly. God damn it. I like that word. It's just nope. Okay, let's head all the way back over there. And do some climbing, shall we? Thankfully, it's all right here, so you don't have to wander around the whole area, you know. Uh... There's something no. That's just a dead end that it wants you to walk on. Because it's like, oh, it's on higher ground. <laughs> oh, that didn't count because the damn chest. God damn it. Okay. Okay. You know what, chest? You know what? Fuck you. We'll go on this side. There we go. Now, as to where the door is, I do not remember seeing it, but we will find it by looking at the map. I like when games allow you to actually look at the map because I'm really dumb and eventually it takes me a while to look at the map, but once I realize that the map is very useful, uh, it helps so much. I'm, I'm currently playing Star Ocean The Last Hope because a friend recommended it for me. This is not the correct way. And you can't really look at the map. It only has the little circle, you know, in the corner of the map. There isn't actually a thing that allows you to know, look at the whole map. Uh, which kind of is annoying sometimes. And it's pretty easy to get lost. But I like the game overall and the music is really pretty. So I haven't gotten very far into it, however. And I'm also, you know, playing Golden Sun at the same time. So, uh, I think over here might be where the wind steel is. Let's just check it out anyway. There should be something. Hello. Let's climb through this little area here. See what's on the other side. Yeah, Golden Sun. I like it too. It's very, very old game. This is cute. I wish there was a... I wish this was like uh, Tales of Graces where it's a discovery and everything. And you just have a nice skid. I mean, it's kind of worthless to be in here, but it's pretty at the same time. Oh, go oh my god, he's walking through the thing. How are you doing this? He's trapping me in here. He's like, screw it. I'm just gonna walk through the thing. How is he doing that? I don't understand. I'm running from you. I'll come fight you later, but I'm running for you right now. Because I do not want to deal with someone who can just walk through the wall. Damn. At least we aren't forced to fight while being in a tiny crawl space. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, God. I just feel like there's something in my throat. So I'm hoping not. Uh, Actually, I think the earth seal is here. And not the wind seal, obviously, because I don't see it. So we need to go all the way on the opposite end. So that's where the earth seal is for sure. So let's head in the opposite direction then, shall we? Not get lost. I'm kind of hungry too. I don't know what I'm going to eat though. I suppose I could eat Ritz because I'm out of chocolate and everything. I'm also not going to go grocery shopping with my mom tomorrow. I just don't have the time. Because uh, yeah, sculptures, sculptures, they take a good amount of time. They're like... One sculpture I was doing took two hours. I was sitting there for two hours peeling soap because I was using a, um, a potato peeler. <laughs> so I was just there for two hours peeling over and over again. The scene takes very long to show you where the earth seal is. I mean, it doesn't really show you. You just kind of have to figure it out for yourself. It's like, here's a little bit of what is around it. Good luck. And everything looks the same in here, so <laughs> you kind of have to deal with it. It is at 23 minutes. Oh, hello. Mysterious jewel. Okay. I was kind of hoping for an accessory, but that's fine too. Okay, we gotta go this way. 
Hello and goodbye. I promise I'll punch you all in the face later. You have no clue how excited I am to just grind them levels in here. Oh. I hate accidentally climbing up spots that you can't even do anything up there. It's just like a waste of time, you know? Okay. Well, first, let's get this chest. Dragon ash? Or something like that? I don't know. Let's break the seal and once again open the gate that is on the opposite side of us. I'm glad that I know where everything is pretty much too. Kind of. I mean, I don't remember where the wind seals are, but they're floating in midair, so it's not that hard to miss. But I remember where all the earth seals are. At least looking by the area, I know where they are. I know, I want to fight you guys really badly, but I want to get through this area as fast as I can. Because I don't want this episode running too long, and I don't want to split it in two. It's just a little side quest area, so it makes no sense. But yeah, uh, I don't know if I said, but this is the Tatillion Abyss. Hello, there's a gold thing there. I'm not going to fight you either, I'm sorry. You'll take too much time. But this is the Tatillion Abyss, as you can see. Uh, you do things in Tales of Exilia too, in it, but not here. Hello, Mega Elixir. This is not the area that I remember. I do not remember this area at all. And there's also a save there, so I don't remember why that is. Um, oh yeah! Yeah, that's right. Oh, God. Okay, well I have a lease. That's okay. This seems to be the source of miasma. Well, hey, we've got company, and it's kind of, and it's the scary kind. Can you say, well, hey, all the time? I'd love that. What's it doing down here? Isn't that one of those... Save the questions for later. Our, wall, our wall of wind won't last much longer. Yeah, we have to kick this monster's butt. 80,000. That is more than that gigantum. Oh, Jesus Christ. So this is very, um... Seems to phase her. She's not the only one. Uh, I... Oh, dear lord. Um... <laughs> okay, well... Maybe we are underleveled. I don't even know. Good thing I went and bought items, right? Good thing I went and bought items. That is not what I want. You're quite calm and composed yourself, Alvin. I'm pretty sure I have to beat it, so... Pretty sure. I think that it just does a shit ton of damage, but you can lower its health pretty easily. I think. Um. Uh, why were you. Why. Why do you resist water? That makes no sense. And he's weak to wind, so I'm. Whoopsies. I'm going to remove your ground attacks real fast so you can focus on wind. Perhaps. Get rid of Freeze Lancer. I'm sorry, uh, he doesn't really have a lot of wind, which sucks. Here, you can use Tidal Wave. Why not? Use that arcane art of yours. Okay, he doesn't resist. Maybe we were resisting something and I just didn't realize. That could be it. Oh. He has such a range with that tail, too. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't, boy. I, I'm assuming it's a boy. But it could be female too, who knows. Maybe I should call it dude, because I, I call both genders dude. Uh, even blocking doesn't help, but I think I just automatically revived myself there, which is nice. Ooh, no. Okay, well at least when she's down it doesn't matter and I can still do a linked art. God damn it. I won't revive myself anytime soon, so... Mila, no. Yeah, you two keep linked. Uh, what are you doing, Rowan? I don't even see you. Use Wind Lance because he is weak to that. And you, I'm actually going to turn off your Rock Trine. Uh. Do, 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 do. Uh, and Gnome. So what I want you to do is Cyclone. Why, I distract him for you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. 
Oh god, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, uh, that's not what I need. Um. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. Oh, or not. Okay, well, thank you, dude. No, come here, come here. Leave her alone. Leave her be. I'm going to life bottle ruin. Okay, let's go, Mila. Let's go. We are doing bad right now. We are doing pretty damn bad. Um, there's my lemon gel. So confused for a second. God damn it! Will you cut it out, please? I just want you to focus on me. Not my healer. Man, I should have kicked Rowan out of the party, but I didn't do that. Do to do to do. Can you use Cyclone again, please? Okay, maybe not Cyclone, but can you use, uh, where's Sylph? God damn, he's taking up so much health. Um, you know what, you're the only one that's healed, so I'm gonna use a heavy treat. Okay, see, that, that does so much damage. That is way too much damage. You, again, can use Sylph, why not? Get that windy action. Oh god, how much health does he have? 51,000. I believe in us again. Whenever we fight these monsters, it's better to believe. It is taking forever to get up our, uh, our bar here. Because everybody keeps dying, so it goes down. There we go. Okay. Uh, did I hit it? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Another reason why Mystic Guards would be fantastic, but we're just having trouble staying alive. <laughs> this definitely is pretty difficult. Um, oh god. But you know, it is, if it's not difficult, it'd be too easy, so... Um, let's block. Okay, that worked. God damn it. God, di god damn you. I could barely even do my arts. He's just like, nope, fuck you. Uh, 38,000, not bad. We're windling him down slowly, but we're doing it. We are doing it. I accidentally healed. I keep forgetting that I have healer and recovery ring and not all arts that uh, hit. Oh no, I did. Okay, okay, I did palm strike. I was about to do uh, igneous crush and I was gonna be like, oh god, no, that, that doesn't help. That does not help. God damn it, Mila. Rowan's just standing there doing nothing. I don't understand. You can use tightening chains. Oh, or not. Um, you know what? You're gonna heal her, so... Run away, Elise. Please run away. I am distracting him as much as I possibly can right now. Uh, use Wind Lance again. Nope, or not. Life bottle, Mila, please. Mila, you can go ahead and use Sylph. Or not. Please use Sylph. Just, like, distract him for me. Okay, uh... Life bottle, Rowan. And Rowan can use Wind Lance since he's so far away. Continuously use Wind Lance, Rowan. Go ahead. There we go. Everything's all back to normal. This is very difficult. Shoot. Shoot. He, like, t he, he combos you, man. He just combos you. It is very good thing. I'm going to have to go back and buy more life bottles, but... <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize I was revived. That's dumb. Um, you Cyclone, please. I'll distract him. And then you, I kind of want you to use, uh... 
ignite terror if you can, and then you can once again use wind lance. Well, cyclone didn't go through. There you go. Use your sylph. I am glad that we all have at least some wind form of attack. Oh dear. Let's have another linked art. How much health does he have? 7,000. We're doing this. We're doing this. Oh god. How that did not actually give me a bunch of damage, I don't know. Because he definitely hit me. He flew me across the thing. Uh, you win Lance, please. Let's do a decent amount of damage. And then you want to hopefully finish him up with a sill. Or not. There she goes. Sweet! We did it, guys! We did it, and it's only 35 minutes. Oh god. Well, I have to edit out some parts anyway, so... Let's hopefully... Hopefully I can read faster. Good, the four will now seal away the miasma. Go, four. Seal away that miasma. Do the deed of the deeds. Go! It worked! The miasma's fading. Although she is looking in pain. It does seem we succeeded and not a moment too soon. Jude, are you okay? Did you breathe some of it in? No, I'm fine. I'm just wondering why that monster was here. That was a devil's beast, wasn't it? I believe so. One of the monsters that was designed to get stronger every time it fights. We're lucky we met it when it was miasma sick. If it had been at full strength, yikes. It must have been traveling underground and accidentally burrowed its way here. A stroke of luck, to be certain. You may be right, but I can't help but wonder. What if that monster came here to die of its own volition? Huh? Why would it do that? Well, it's designed to do nothing but fight, right? Maybe it got tired of fighting and thought the miasma could help it die. A noble end for a noble beast. It's almost poetic. So when we defeated it, its wish came true. I suppose we'll never know what it was thinking. But the idea of being created for an unwanted purpose, desperately battling with its own destiny, it doesn't seem so sound so far-fetched to me. Poor, poor thing. At least we gave it what it wanted, right? You know. I've no excuse for my performance. Age must. It's it's okay, Rowan. It's okay. Um, you know. All right, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.